This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning. Welcome to St. Paul's Monastery. Please rise. Hosanna <coughs> to the Son of David. Oh, blessed is he, oh, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, by penance and charitable works, today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal mystery. That is to say, of his passion and resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city of our salvation, following in his steps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and his life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify the branches with your blessing that we who follow Christ, the King in exaltation, may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The children of Jerusalem, they welcome Christ the King. They carried olive branches and loudly praised him. They spread their cloaks upon the road and loudly praised the Lord. Hosanna to the Son of David. Hosanna. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take the flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient and suffering, and so merit to share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
of reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, glory and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, glory and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ became obedient even to death on a cross. For this God bestowed his name above every name. Praise to you, glory and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. The Passion of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. The elders of the people, chief priests and scribes, arose and brought Jesus before Pilate. They brought charges against him, saying, we found this man misleading our people. He opposes the payment of taxes to Caesar and maintains that he is the Christ, a king. Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, you say so. Pilate then addressed the chief priests and the crowds. I have found this man not guilty, but they were adamant and said, he is inciting the people with his teaching throughout all of Judea, from Galilee, where he began, even to here. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean, and upon learning that he was under Herod's jurisdiction. He sent him to Herod, who was in Jerusalem at the time. Herod was very glad to see Jesus. He had been wanting to see him for a long time, for he had heard about him and had been hoping to see him perform some sign. He questioned him at length, but he gave him no answer. The chief priests and the scribes, meanwhile, stood by accusing him harshly. Herod and his soldiers treated him contemptuously and mocked him. And after clothing him in resplendent garb, he sent him back to Pilate. Herod and Pilate became friends that very day, even though they had been enemies formerly. Pilate then summoned the chief priests, the rulers, and the people, and said to them, you brought this man to me and accused him of inciting the people to revolt. I have conducted my investigation in your presence and have not found this man guilty of the charges you have brought against him, nor did Herod, for he sent him back to us. So no capital crimes has been committed by him. Therefore, I shall have him flocked and then release him. But 
Altogether, they shouted out, away with this man, release Barabbas to us. Now Barabbas had been in prison for a rebellion that had taken place in the city and for murder. Again, Pilate addressed them, still wishing to release Jesus, but they continue their shouting, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate addressed them a third time, what evil has this man done? I found him guilty of no capital crime. Therefore, I shall have him flogged and then release him with shouts. However, they shouted and they persisted in calling for his crucifixion and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. So they released the man who had been in prison for rebellion and murder for whom they asked. And he handed Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon of Cyrene who was coming in from the country. And after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breast that never nursed. At that time, people will say to the mountains, fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things were done when the wood was green, what will happen when it is dry? Now to others, both criminals were led away with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right and the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. They divided his garments by casting lots. The people stood by and watched. The rulers, meanwhile, sneered at him and said, he saved others, let him save himself if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, if you are king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, this is the king of the Jews. Now, one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus saying, are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuked him, said in reply, have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because uh, of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out, in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he said this, he breathed his last. <coughs> the centurion <coughs> who witnessed what had happened glorified God and said, this man was innocent beyond a doubt. When all of the people who had gathered for this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home, beating their breasts, but all of his acquaintances stood at a distance, 
including the women who had followed him from, Jer from Galilee and saw these events. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. <coughs> Each year at this time, Christians call to mind the events of Christ's passion. When we as believers recall these events, we are filled with a whole range of emotions, horror, sadness, sorrow for sin, gratitude, and love. But today's readings makes it very clear that these events are far from personal or private. They have a power to affect the destiny of us all, of the whole of the human family. Therefore, the passion and the death of Jesus are important to remember. When we see <clears throat> with the eyes of faith, what we see played out before us is not simply the last agony of a failed prophet, but rather a dramatic representation and presentation of God's great love for us. The last agony and death of Christ do not simply reveal the deep commitment of one man to his religious cause. As St. Paul reminds us, Christ's state was divine, but for our salvation, he became human to die on the cross and reconcile humankind to God. Therefore, the crucifixion does not just reveal a human passion, it reveals the passion of God himself. It reveals the extremes to which God is willing to go in order to save us from our own sins and faults. Because of Jesus' passion, there is now no more barrier between God and us for death itself is ended. We are freed from death, from that meaningless death, that hopeless existence. We have indeed the bright promise of eternal life with God. This is the meaning of the Passion Liturgy today. Jesus' passion means that God loves us and will do anything in order to save us. Please stand for our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, make up heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, Substantial with, with the Father. Through, through him all, all things were made. For us and for, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death and was buried. And rose, rose again on the third day in accordance with, with the scriptures. scriptures. He, he ascended, ascended into heaven and I seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now call upon the name of the Lord today and call to mind our needs and the needs of our brothers and sisters, confident that God will continue to bless us with great things. For the church, that we may join Christ 
in letting go of control and power and allow the Spirit of God to sustain and renew us each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace to forgive, that we may have the courage to forgive freely all who injure us, just as God has forgiven us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, that God will bring an end to the violence in Ukraine, protect the innocent from harm, and open new opportunities for dialogue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the homebound, that they may know God's healing presence and entrust themselves and their caregivers and God's loving care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those being received into the church, this Easter vigil, that God will deepen their desire for the Eucharist and fill them with love through the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we pray this Mass, let us remember Jacqueline Orlando. <clears throat> we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and merciful God, Lead us as we walk the way of the cross with your Son. May our acceptance of our crosses and our service to others struggling with their crosses deepen our joy in the new life offered to us through the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. This is truly yes, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit by our own deeds, Yet, by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel ready the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <coughs> Lift up your hearts. <coughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, blessed James of Barione, and all of the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now off each other, a sign of peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. The body of Christ. Amen. Why did it have to be a friend who chose to betray the Lord? Why did he use a kiss to show them that's not what a kiss is? Only a friend can betray a friend. The body of Christ. A stranger has nothing to gain. The body of Christ. And only a friend comes close enough to ever cause so much pain. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Why did there have the to be a thorny crown placed upon his head? The body of Christ. It should have been a royal the one of made of jewels and gold instead. The body of Christ. It had to be 
a crown of thorns because in this life that we live for all who would seek to love a thorn is all the world the has to give the body of Christ the body of Christ Body of Christ. Why did it have to be a heavy cross he was made to bear? The body Why of did they nail his feet and hands when his love would have held Christ. him there? It was a cross for upon a cross a thief was the supposed to pay. And Jesus had come into the, the world to steal every heart away. Yes, Jesus had come Christ. into this world to steal every heart away. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Behold the cross the body of Christ. on which was hung the life's very Let us pray. Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look, we pray, O oh Lord, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Lord, let